Hey guys, Johnny Ugly here. I was bored this morning, so I figured I'd make you guys some spaghetti, show you my recipe. So what you're gonna need is three, four onions, some garlic, you need some bacon, not too much, that's a giant pack, some Hillshire Farm beef, pulse, <laughs> Pol Polish kielbasa. <laughs> I can't read it like that. That's Polska, I don't say Polska. A uh, little dry salami, and a couple cans of tomato sauce, maybe some paste, if your sauce is a little uh, weak. Now today I'm making it for the kids, so it's not gonna be Yuto, or Ito, as you guys would say. And uh, here we go. All right, let's see what we gotta do first. Okay. Holding a camera with your mouth is not a good thing when you're chopping onions, but that's it. Okay, next you got your garlic. I know everybody knows this, but just a little tip that everybody knows already. Take your knife, squish the crap out of it. And look, the garlic just pops right out. We're going to cut up our bacon. Now you can get yourself maybe, you know, three, four, five pieces of nice thick slab. I just wanted to show you the uh, slices we're using. Just nice and, you know, nothing big deal. Okay, there's our dry salami there. Just wanted to show you how I cut that up. Just bits, you know, nice little dice. Here's the star of the show, the kibasi. Now, you just take, cut it thin. It's the only way, well not too thin, but you know, nice like that. Now this is the star of the spaghetti. A lot of you guys use Italian sausage, all that. This is how I was raised, and I'll tell you what. Wow, the best flavor. Okay guys, we're back, and we've got all of our stuff ready. And now I am melting some butter in our big pot. Now I know this is way too big of a pot, but when the vegetables and all the stuff start going, if they're too crowded and they get bunched up, all they do is saute in oil. You don't want that. You want it to brown and get crispy. Okay, here we go. Gonna get all this love and dump it in. Usually I use two hands, but I don't have two hands. Right away you hear that sizzle. Yeah, baby. Okay, that's beautiful right there. Now since this is a child spaghetti, no yuto, which I'm dying, but I'm gonna start off with a black pepper. Of course you need black pepper. Open it up, get it in there. Make it dirty. Try to catch me riding dirty. I'm also gonna use a little salt. Of course, the bacon is a lot salty, but get a little bit in there. There you go. A little cane sugar. I love sugar a lot. I use it in all my cooking. And I do like the powdered sugar because it really gets in there. So now you mix that up. Oh man, look at the caramelization going on. Ooh, smells crazy. It's over. Oh boy, I can't wait Why not? So look guys, box of God bless you guys. You know what? I can't wait in the morning. Get a little bit of this. See all that onion? Watch this, baby. Oh no, oh no, no, no. You ain't going nowhere, dog. Right there. Let's see what we got here. Look at that. Oh baby, here we go. Wow, now that we're all sauteing and... Oh, look at that steam, it smells great. Now that we're a little brown, we're gonna open up the Carlos Rossi Burgundy. And not too much, you know, just enough to get that flavor in there. Like 30. Oh man, what a smell. Oh, fogs up the camera, it's so good. It's like making out with Marilyn Monroe. Okay, we got some caramelization, we got some crispy love. So now, that's tough to do with one hand, man. You get your can. Oh, 
Ah. There you go. Open her up. And just like a vampire, you let her drink. Okay, I put my two cans of sauce and I didn't like the consistency, so I went with another can of tomato puree. Now we're gonna left these with my left hand. Oh, look how cute. With some black pepper. Get dirty. Call it. A little bit more salt. Yes, once again, a little bit of sugar. It makes it so good. Okay, I just tasted the sauce for the 80th time, and she's going great. But to give it the ribbon of love, the butter ribbon, I call it, you grab yourself a little chunk of butter, throw it in there, and then let the river of love, you can actually see it. If you can see it, Look at that, there's a trail of yellow. That is the magical river stream that I traveled down many times and have fallen in love with the butter goddess. <clears throat> and uh, you know, there it is, see the trail? The trail leads to my heart. Okay, sauce is on its way to being done. Now, I'm gonna start the water for the spaghetti, of course, a little bit of oil, and a little bit of salt. You can't do it without oil and salt. Oh, it'll be terrible. Thank you. And look at that, boys. Oh my god. You can call it big. Now that is what the love is. You see the bacon, you see that, you see a little bit of salami and a lot of onion and garlic. Oh, baby boy. I don't think I forgot, guys. Add a couple of these just for love. As long as you don't poke them and cut them up, they won't flavor the sauce in the heat wise. Now, Anthony, you want to try it again? This is the taste test. Come on, boy. Give it a lick. How is it? Thumbs up? Let me see it. All right, cool. You guys want to, you want to show them your artwork? Show them what you've been doing. Tell me what those are. Who is that? Ashley. Ashley. Who's this guy? Who? Jacob. Jacob. Where's, where's me? Is that me? With a Mario hat? Thank you, baby. Give me a kiss. Mm, the only pasta to use. Is the Vida Cobella. Barilla. Perfect angel hair. Barilla. For the pasta lover in you. There we go, baby. Spaghetti, kibasi, crackers, a whole row, of course. You can't eat without a row of crackers. A nice little beverage and a, and a bless your son. And a napkin. Now, I'll tell you this. This is going to be fat. Let's see what we got here. A little spaghetti. Left-handed, of course. This is tough. A little spaghetti. There we go right there. Let's see what we got. Oh. So good, so fresh tasting. Of course, I've eaten a lot of crackers in my life. Now, a couple of things here to tell you about. Michael Jackson, rest in peace, buddy. A lot of people are freaking out about you. Oh, it's a world end and all that. It is a shocker. It's very bad. He was a crazy entertainer. But, you know what I'm about to say. A lot of people are saying what he did at the end of his career ruined him. I'd like to pretend maybe he didn't do it. We don't know if he really did it or not. So, remember him in his beat it thriller. I watched him this morning. I think nobody can move like him. 